So good afternoon. Welcome to our Harrow College ICT uh, virtual open day. Good to have you with us today. Just to let you know, we are recording the session so you can look back and see that on our website. Um, and also we are using the chat box today. So if you do have any questions that you want to ask, pop them into the chat box and we'll be able to answer those, uh, hopefully all of those at the end of the session. Um, we have got a welcome to Harrow College video. If you haven't seen that, that is on our um, open days page on our website. So do check that out because this will give you lots of information about I ICT. But if you want any more details uh, about the college, uh, you can also head to the website for that as well. So without further ado, I shall hand over to my curriculum colleagues. And Wasan, over to you. Hello, hi everyone. And welcome to our ICT at Harrow College open day. Um, I will be starting with the content of what we are going to talk about. So we're going to talk about uh, the levels at ICT, um, English and maths, uh, meeting the team, educational trips, spas and ALFs, careers and learning resource center, work experience, and if you have any questions at the end of the presentation, okay? So for our BTEC level one, introductory diploma in IT, it's a one year course. Uh, it basically teaches you about ICT, basic stuff. We have a lot of practical task, tasks to engage learners. Um, they create websites, uh, digital posters, programming, spreadsheets, and video and audio clips. It also helps with the language students from entry three um, uh, coming to level one, we engage, uh, we engage them with uh, giving them tasks that have a lot of English in them to help them with their language. So what we will do, uh, the study methods that we have is a classroom teaching with a teacher, uh, computer work, uh, practical activities, and so on, all right? So that's for the level one introductory diploma in ICT. Then we have OCR level two diploma in IT. This again is a one year course. This is more advanced. This is more um, advanced than level one. Here we learn about computer systems, installing hardware, computer animation databases, spreadsheets and websites. We also have practical and theoretical tasks again to help with the English, okay? The study methods include um, whole group teaching, discussions, practical workshops, classroom activities that involve in groups and pair work. We have excellent teachers at the level two um, diploma and they are very friendly. You will get to know them when you start. Okay, uh, moving on. Uh, BTEC Level 3 Extended Certificates in ICT, which is an RQF code, topped up with BTEC National Diploma in ICT. So we have two different types. So one is higher than the other one. This is a two-year course. Uh, year one covers a range of topics, such as information technology systems, which is a written exam. Okay, so you will be taught about information technology systems. Uh, and then at the end, you will get a written exam. Then we have uh, creating systems to manage information, which is uh, creating databases. This is a practical exam. Okay, so you have to create, you have to create a database in this exam. I am teaching the, this unit this year and hopefully next year. Then we have using social media in business, which is an assignment. And then we have a website, oh, sorry, website development for uh, this, for the first year of level three. And then we have BTEC level three national foundation diploma in ICT, in ICT RQF, topped up with BTEC national extended diploma. Okay, so this is the higher level. We have unit one, which is again, information technology systems, which is a written exam. Then we have creating systems to manage information, 
Okay, so if that's a database, again, practical exam. Um, then we have using social media in business. This one is an assignment. Then we have programming, that is an assignment. And unit five, which is data modeling. And again, that's an assignment. Okay, moving on, doesn't go next, second. Amira, over to you. Hi everybody, my name is Amira and I'm one of the teachers in the IT course. Um, I'm going to talk a bit about the T-levels, which um, is a new qualification that we're offering. We're going to be offering the digital business service and um, it's, it's a completely new qualification across the country and we're quite excited to be able to offer it next year. Um, the T-Levels is eligible for UCAS points, so a lot of students that do go on to do the T-Levels still get on to the very good universities, have quite a wide variety of options of universities to choose from, as well as doing um, projects with employers as well. So there's a list of employers that the T-Levels um, engages on, and it's very, it's, it's assignment based, but at the same time, you'll be able to get work experience out of it. Um, as it says here, it's a technical qualification and is split up into two parts. Um, the core component, the knowledge and underpinning concepts, theories and principles, um, as well as core skills for the digital sector. There is, it's assessed by having um, part A, which is a written exam, and paper B, which is another written exam, and then there'll be an employer set project. Most, this, this particular T level, it allows you to specialize in areas of IT and go into kind of data um, analysis kind of jobs, as well as other areas of IT. Then we have, um, Wasson, can you click on the next that next screen? Just go back one. Okay, um, we also have our higher level courses here, which is HNC, HND, and it's run by expertise in the field. The HNC and HND is equivalent to um, a university level of first year and second year where a lot of students, they do choose to stay on with our HNC and HND programs because um, A, it's a lot cheaper than doing it as a first year at, the, at university. So HNC is equivalent to year one at university and it's a lot cheaper for you guys to do it here. And um, it's it's very well structured. And once you do HNC, you go into HND, which is equivalent to year two qualification. After that, you go straight into the third year of the university and you top it up with a third year course. Um, you study at Harrow College instead of going to university and the fees are lower. Um, the third year is off at university and it's equivalent to a full degree once you um, top up. And it's actually a lot of students have found that it's a lot more flexible and it's a lot more suitable for them to do this type of study than actually going off to university. Um, so yeah, um, Lawson, thank you. We also have the option for you to catch up with your maths and English. So if you haven't achieved your GCSE maths or GCSE English, you will be able to do your GCSE Maths and English and have that vital qualification that employers look for, universities look for, and that you will need for future apprenticeships and any other kind of opportunity. Um, also, if you're starting at a lower level, we do offer level one English and Maths for those of you that need like a slightly um, um, a, a more of a foundation in the subject as well. Yeah, and attendance to these two are compulsory. If you have achieved both of these, then you won't need to attend English or Math, but then you'll have additional hours for direct learning and um, so, which we'll talk about once you enroll on the course, yeah. Um, educational trips, as you know, we're all on lockdown and we haven't been able to go anywhere for some time. The whole country is in the same boat. 
but previously we've had educational trips to lots of different places. We go to Thought Park, um, lots of foreign trips where we've been to Disneyland in Paris, um, Barcelona, Prague, um, Budapest as well. We do uh, bowling trips and all sorts just to make it like a more fun experience for everybody. We also have, um, we said, um, bowling as well as trampolining yes that was a fun trip um the harry potter world and the london dungeons as well we visited um different companies and universities such as sky sky and bt amazon um and lots of different universities as well so we try to give students a, a quite a, an experience where they're prepared for you know the outside world as well as having fun with their friends and making it you know quite educational at the same time yeah this is a team so we've got here wasan i'm sure you can see half her face cut off but she's also um one of our lovely members of staff who's just absolutely amazing and you know just always whenever you need anything she's here for you um, we, we have our two guys, Yal and Mobin, Helen, Nisha and Pushpa, who is our section manager. I'm sure she'll, um, you'll be able to speak to her. She's in the call as well. And yeah, it's not everybody, but this is some of our team, but yeah. Um, the SPA, so the SPA is short for Student Progression Advisor. This is a personal tutor that will help you out with any issues that you face. They're here for pastoral care or any kind of um, help that you need with the course or additional help or advice, um, anything that they're here for you. You have one hour sessions, weekly sessions with them. And um, our SPA is actually really fantastic. Um, and they'll be responsible for work experience to help you with your work experience placements and deliver essential tutorial topics as well. Uh, Alf? Yeah. Okay. Um, Alf is Active Learning Facilitator. I am the Active Learning Facilitator for the ICT. You will get to see me once a week. So I have every single class of ICT that I see once a week. Um, I will help you with workshop sessions. Um, I help you with assignments and coursework and any anything you need help with, I will be there to support you. Yeah, so that's the ALF. That's what the ALF does for the ICT. We also have a very amazing careers team who are here to help you with any um, future steps that you take. You might feel that you've started a course in IT and you might not particularly like it and you want to go into, I don't know, possibly science and you can speak to the careers team who will be able to advise you accordingly. Um, they're here to help you out with universities as well as apprenticeships or anything else that you would like to go on to. We have a learning resource center where you can find all the information that you need to help you with your course. And there's books, eBooks, iPad, laptops, DVDs and audio books available for you to help you with your studies. And we have a quiet study area and also computers that could be booked um, to complete research and coursework as well. So if you have trouble working at home or you might not have the necessary space, there's um, dedicated areas for you to come to college and work, yeah? Um, and work experience, lastly, we'll talk about work experience. Work experience will be for one week. And generally we go out to different placements. Students go out to their work placements and do it with different organizations. And we try to make it IT related placements as well. So you have experience in that industry, in that field. Um, this year it's been quite a challenge, but luckily we have managed to allow all our level three year one students, actually they just completed their virtual work experience where they had experience of working in within the IT sector and being given tasks um, to complete as well, virtually just like reflecting the world that we live in. A lot of us have been working from home and they did have that opportunity to be able to continue with that as well, which is quite fantastic. Work experience is available for students from level two and um, level three year one and level three year two. So yeah. 
Um, any questions? So this is an opportunity for you guys to ask any questions. And I think Pushpa, you're taking the Q&A session. Pushpa, you can't Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm just going to um, uh, just round, round up just before we, we go on to questions. Oh, okay. So just to say thank you so much to Amira and Vassan for your um, information today. There's been an awful lot um, for uh, for potential students to, to take in. So thank you for that. Um, yeah. Just one of the first things I um, wanted to just pick up, it was in terms of how um, students can start with us and how they can develop from level to level. So Pushpa, whether or not you could just give an understanding of how students can, can go on to um, study. Obviously, we've heard about level yes. Uh, that go right the way up to university uh, level. Yes. So if you could just uh, yes. so, answer that uh, one, that'd be great. Thank you. Generally, students start off with a level one course uh, or majority would, I would say, uh, level two. Is that right, uh, Wasson and Amira? I mean, if they have the entry requirements for level three, so if you've got four GCSEs or five GCSEs for some of our level three courses, you'll be able to go straight into level three. But then if you don't meet that criteria, we have a lot of students, we have a variety of courses for the appropriate levels. So we have level one and level two available for you. A lot of our students generally progress, if they're in level one, they go on to level two, which we have quite a high progression rate. Right? Most students are interested to stay on and continue with us. And then from level two, they go on to level three. And um, as Wasson showed, there are different, um, there are different, types of qualifications for level three um so yeah and and then from there you have the opportunity to go on to hnc and hnd as well uh, and, and just also, uh, yeah go on i just wanted to add that you know we've got the opportunity for the team at level two as well as mm -hmm. level three so i just wanted to add that and I've just added into the chat box. So if anybody is interested in yes. T-level courses, we do have a, a virtual open day uh, for T-levels on the 30th of March. And if you just head to our open day page at uh, harrow.ac.uk forward slash open days, you'll be able to sign up for that and we'll send you the information for that as well. Uh, and also just to add to, um, um, as Amira was saying about there being options for level three, if you're not quite sure, come and have a chat to us because we're more than happy to help you depending on your qualifications to make sure that we can get you onto the right course. Um, as I know that there can be a lot of choice. So sometimes uh, just a, a chat and, and you know, do, do get in contact with the college. And we'd be very happy to help you with that as well. Um, one of the uh, other questions that's popped through is within one of the level three courses, how much actual coding is there? Um, well, in, in the RQF course, we have, sorry, sorry, um, working from home. <laughs> My hand. So we have the RQ, on the RQF, unit four is a programming unit. So they do have the opportunity to go over two different languages, I believe, because they have to co compare and contrast two different languages. And I believe this year they went over VB.net as well as they touched a little bit on Python and different JavaScript as well. Um, in year two, they do the games development unit, which they will go over C Sharp. So they have the opportunity to learn the programming language C Sharp as well. So, um, and, and then they also have um, cyber security as an option, which isn't programming, but yeah. Again, in, the, in this day and age with um, so much happening virtually, all of, all of that is very relevant. And those languages, are, uh, if, correct me if I'm wrong, but used in industry. Um, right, yes. So yes. yeah, so it gives good experience. Industry languages, so yeah. Perfect, thank you. Um, don't have any other questions that have come in, but so we'll, we'll leave it a moment or so. Um, I'll just do, uh, just give a little bit more information. If there are any other questions, we'll we'll, we'll read those out. But just to, to say, you know, thank you um, everybody for joining us today. Um, it's good to have you with us. Um, as uh, I said at the beginning, we will have the recording available so you can have a little look and find out some more. Um, we've been putting some links into the chat as we've been going along. So if you would like to have a look at the courses, we're taking applications. It's not too late to apply. You can still do that. If if you head to the website have a look at the courses uh, there's a, a big orange button on all of the course um, fact sheets so you can apply straight from there and as we said earlier if you're not quite sure what course you want um, then do uh, give us a call um, you can also apply for a course and we'll, we'll have a chat with you about about the course so if, if there's something that might suit you better then we'll be able to help you from there as well
Um, just wanted to mention, I know um, the team have talked today a little bit about the, the HNC and the HND, the level four and level five. And again, that those courses, if you do want to progress, um, you can go right the way through. And those courses also have a, a lot of industry um, targeted uh, units, just so that we're getting, getting students ready with, you know, com combination of the units and also work experience and the projects and, and briefs that you can get involved in as well. So just adds an extra industry flavor to, to your course and, and gets you ready for work. Work. Um, another um, another qu question has just popped in, um, and that's uh, uh, with regarding to the uh, the HND course. Um, the potential student knows somebody who did an HND course, and it was um, module based. And would that be similar with our HND course? I believe it is module based. Yes, it, it, it is modular based. We do not have an exam, but uh, it's Pearson set, uh, so it will be all modular. And uh, I think they have about six, six units in the first year and six units on the second year. That's great. Thank you very much, um, Pushpa. Um, and, and, the, and just on the level three courses, are the level three um, modular based as well? They're probably more, we would probably call that more unit based, I, I'm, I'm guessing. No, I, I need to correct that. For the level three, all our courses will have an exam component in that, uh, in that course. So level three, yep. just to repeat that, it has an exam, a compulsory exam uh, for, for level three. And then level four doesn't level have the exam. Yeah, have so le level three courses, uh, level three unit based. Yes. Yeah, that, that's great. Thank you for, for clarifying because obviously each of the courses has a, a different structure. So, and again, yes. um, if you are interested, then do, and you, and you want more information, do get in touch. Um, those are all the questions that we've had. So thank you once again to the team. Um, Oh, one's just popped in. Sorry, I will keep you for another question. Thank you. Do you do one unit at a time with the level three courses? OK, so what we do is uh, we call it like a semester based. So in one uh, in one uh, semester, we, 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 we divide it into two sort of uh, parts of the year. So you start off in September, you do one unit. And then around January, there is a transfer to the second unit. Of course, there is an overlap as well in terms of the unit if some students have started late, so they do carry on. But the teacher would ideally stop around January, February to complete that unit and start off with another unit. That's great. Thank you very much, Pushpa. To answer that question, I hope it does. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's one teacher delivering two units generally. That's great, thank you. And, and again, there is more course information on the website and in the prospectus as well, if, if you want to have a little look after, after the, the uh, open day today. Um, on that note, thank you very much. Advice and guidance, as we've said all the way along, advice and guidance is available. Do get in touch um, and the team will be very happy to, to answer any questions. So if there is anything else you, you want to know about our ICT courses, then do, do let us know. Um, uh, uh, other than that, just to say thank you again for joining us and have a good rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.